If we're trying to evaluate this integral, uh, one trick we have up our sleeve is to try to make it into a simpler, a simpler integral by making a substitution. And u, for some reason, has always been that letter that we substitute. What you want to do is you want to let u be this entire denominator. And it will only work if we're going to have the derivative of u available. Okay, so we got to figure out what the derivative of u is with respect to y. So the derivative of constant is 0. This derivative of 3y to the second, that's 6y. We've almost got it. We just need to have a 6 up here instead of a 3. So what you can do is you can multiply the whole thing by 1 half, and that lets you multiply inside by a 2, right? Because you can just rebalance that step, uh, undo it by multiplying those two, and you'd be back to the same integral. Now I have a du in the numerator. So this is 1 half the integral of du over u, this whole thing is u, to the third power. Or in other words, this is 1 half times the integral of u to the negative third du. So we can use the reverse of the power rule. When you take a derivative, the power usually goes down. So when you're trying to evaluate an indefinite integral, you're trying to find out what the antiderivative is. So the power is going to go up by 1. But we have to compensate, right? Because an antiderivative, you need to be able to take the derivative, and it should turn back into this. Right now, if I take the derivative, I'm going to get negative u to the negative third power. I'm supposed to have a 1 half out front. So what I have to do is I have to compensate by multiplying by negative 1 half. That way, when you take a derivative, negative 2 times negative 1 half makes 1, right? And then the power gets reduced by 1, and we're back to where we started. So this is the antiderivative. We just need plus some constant c. Okay? The constant c is there because now if you add any number, if you add a billion, if you add 2, if you add 7 at the end, you take a derivative and that constant's gone. So that could still equal this up here. Um, and then we also, let's see, we can clean that up. 1 half times negative 1 half, that makes negative 1 fourth. And then this u to the negative 1 half, let's put it back in terms of the original variable, in terms of y. It's a negative second power. Or this is just an algebraic way to rewrite it. This is negative 1 over 4, 2 plus 3y to the second power plus c. Okay, Because we move this to the bottom, change the exponent to a positive. OK, so that's it. Whoops, so when I uh, substituted. 2 plus 3y squared, I forgot this 2 on top of the y, so that should be here.